Welcome back. So it's great that I can now delete joke and I'll actually get a message when the joke is deleted. But what if I press the wrong button and I just delete it by mistake? I don't want that. I want a validation, some kind of alert saying, are you sure I want to delete this joke? And I can say, yes, I'm sure. I want to do that. So jumping back to the API information right here on the, on the Yannick Docs, find the alert controller here instead of the nav controller. And you can see examples and you can see right here how it works. I want something like this confirmation and I can say, yes, I want to delete. Oh no, I want, don't want to delete something like that. Uh, there's also basic alerts, how you use those. There's the prompts, right? Where you can cancel save. There's the radio buttons. So you can actually see a lot of different ones right here. I want to use the confirm alert. And how do I find it? Well, I just scroll down until I find present confirm. And here's a good example on how to use it. That's what we're going to do this lesson. Now, we first of all, we need the alert controller inside our code. So let's jump to the code and let's do another dependency injection right here. Private um, alert controller, alert CTRL, and that's going to be the alert controller. Alert controller. There we go. Now we have that notice. Again, remember it actually imports something for you right here. We have nav controller, toast controller, and also now the alert controller. Let's use that alert controller and scroll down because we want to start using it now. The first step is to create an actual alert. So let's go and do that. We need to kind of, before we do the delete, before we actually call all of, all of this, before that happens, we want to um, ask if he wants, right? So we want the, the confirmation before this actually happens. So let's just move this down a few lines and we can pull the code back in a second. Let's start out by making the actual alert right here. So we are going to end up with an alert, right? We're going to make that alert by saying, this dot alert controller. Now this just thought to, you can see that's the same thing I'm doing. I'm just using different controllers, right? I want to kind of create a new alert. Jumping back, how do you make an alert? Well, you need some information. You need to start out by making a JavaScript object right here. Let's put in a JavaScript object. There we go. Now we need to also do a title and a message. Let's start out by doing that title. Now we want the title to just say, sure, <laughs> very simple. And we want the message to be, are you sure you want to delete the current joke? Are you sure you want to delete the joke? Like that. Now, what do we need also? We need buttons. We need kind of a two buttons, the cancel button and the delete button, right? So I'll just make two buttons right here. Now, when you're working with multiple things, of course, you need to make an array. So I'm going to make this into an array of buttons. Now, the buttons I want is actually the first button right here. That's going to be um, the cancel button. And then I want another button right here that's going to be the actually delete the object button, right? So that's kind of two button objects right here. How do we make them? Well, first we need to kind of create the cancel button. So I'm just going to first add text, the role of the button, that's just going to automatically force it to just shut down the actual, um, instead of deleting it, I'm just going to shut down the window, right? So let's actually start with the text right here for the first button, text. We're going to put in cancel right here. And let's just put uppercase because this is actually, I want to cancel. Now, what's the role of the button? That's going to be cancel, meaning that I don't want to, I don't want to do what you just asked me to do. So just automatically shut down the window. And the last thing I'm going to do is just say, even though I'm not doing anything, I could actually still execute something. So we're going to add what we call a handler. So what should happen when we want to cancel this button? And how do we do that? Again, we use the federal notation like you're so used to now, it should be easy now. And what we want to do is just for this lesson, just console log um, canceled, just to say that this was actually canceled. I don't want to do anything anyway. That was the first button, it's done. The second button, we also want to text for that one. We're going to say uh, delete. That's going to be the message, delete. I want to delete this. I want to remove this joke. And the last thing, I don't need a role for this guy because it's just going to be a handler. It's just going to explain I want to delete this button. And what I'm going to do is pretty much, whoops, sorry about that. I want to pretty much just say, go and delete the button, go and delete. How do we do that? Well, we need to execute all this code right here. Boop. There we go. <laughs> I know this is starting to be a mess and that's why you have methods. So we're going to later go and clean up this code. We're going to make it look a lot prettier by pulling stuff into different methods, but not right now. Let's just keep it uh, very simple inside this actual delete button right here. There we go. So now we've kind of set up how we want to use the delete button. Now we pretty much just want to actually present this alert just like when we did it with, whoops, that was not what I wanted. Just like when we did it with the toast right here. So we just say alert present. 
Whoops, am I outside of the... There we go. So this is actually why it's a problem, right? Because I can't even figure out where I'm at right now. I actually need to go all the way out here to do the alert percent. There we go. So that's why you don't want code to be too big. But this is actually still a small set of code compared to when I see some JavaScript file in, for instance, jQuery and stuff like that. So I'm still satisfied with the amount of code right here. Now I should have put in a semicolon right here before we just test it. Semicolon. And I should put in a semicolon right here before we test it. Semicolon. There we go. So now it should actually run. Let's try and see if it runs. Jumping into this guy saying list all jokes. Going in here saying delete. Are you sure? Uh, no. Still there. Trying again. Are you sure? Uh, I don't want to delete it. It's still there. Delete again. Yes, delete it. It's gone.